I'm Director of Education Tom Frezza from the National Museum of the U.S. Navy, and today we're here to talk about PCF number one, or Patrol Craft Fast number one. These patrol craft, also known as swift boats, operated off the coast of Vietnam looking for weapons that were being smuggled by the Viet Cong aboard junks and other transport ships. Now, the Navy actually didn't design these swift boats, so they went to a civilian company that was making water taxis and other boats, and they gave them the guidelines of, it needs to be light, and it needs to be fast. They came back to the Navy with the design, the Navy tweaked it a little bit, and the swift boat was born. Now these swift boats were fast and heavily armed. They had several 50 caliber machine guns, they had an 81 millimeter mortar, and they also had several other arms that the sailors would use, like M60 machine guns and M16s. During Operation Sea Lord from 1968 to 1971, the swift boats not only were operating off the coast of Vietnam, but were making their way up the rivers, helping out with operations with the smaller PBRs, providing that extra firepower and that heavier punch for the Navy. Now these swift boats were designed for coastal warfare, not going up rivers. So it was very hazardous duty for the sailors assigned to these swift boats. The props would get fouled, and that high profile made them a perfect target for the Viet Cong. At the end of America's involvement in Vietnam, a lot of these swift boats were left behind to the South Vietnamese, and a few of them did come back. This one here, was actually stateside and used in training for all the Swifties who were going to Vietnam. So if you served aboard a Swift boat, you most likely trained aboard PCF number one. Not only did the Navy bring back some of those Swift boats from South Vietnam, but they also brought back a few other things too. All of the lessons learned. All of the lessons learned by all of the sailors who operated these swift boats in the waterways and off the coast of South Vietnam. All of those lessons learned that the Navy is still using today. So there's a reason why this swift boat still matters today. It's because the Navy still uses small, fast, and heavily armed boats. And the sailors who operate those boats can trace their lineage back to the sailors who operated these swift boats off the coast and in the riverways of South Vietnam. <laughs>